Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, good, good evening, evening teacher. And hello, Damaris. Hello, Jaime Maria Dolores. Samuel, good evening. Thank you for your punctuality. How are you today? It's okay. Very good, teacher. Very good. Excellent. Excellent, teacher. That's and you? Great. You are excellent. Oh, I'm perfect. Thanks for asking me. And Damaris, how are you? Excellent, teacher. That sounds great. It's a great day. Today was a great day. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Teacher, uh, I am sorry, I am driving. Okay, Jaime, don't worry. Just be careful because it's raining a lot. Is it raining in the place where you live? Está lloviendo donde viven? Is it raining there? It's raining here in Apaneca, teacher. It is okay. raining in Aguachapan. It's raining in Aguachapan. Llegando Ay. a San Salvador, está comenzando a llover, teacher. Ah, ok. En el camino de Comalapa para... De Comalapa para San Salvador, no se mira la tormenta. Ok, that is a terrible situation, right? The weather is awful tonight. It is raining too. Acá está lloviendo también. Hello, Andrea. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Luis, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, let me ask a question. Just to start the class, do you have a question about the exercises on the platform? Any question? Do you have any question about the exercises there on the platform? Question, doubts, problems? No? No, teacher. No? Okay, that's great then. So tonight we are going to start the section number three. And we are going to talk about some city places and also about preposition of place. Which city places, um, which city places do you remember in English? Do you remember some of them? Lugares en la ciudad. Which places can we find around the city? Or in the city, what places can we find there? Lugares en la ciudad. Do you remember this vocabulary? Oh, let's see, for example. Uh, church. Church. Okay, excellent. The church. Place. Mm, which other place? Place. Park. Oh, park. 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 Um, church park. What do you say? Alcaldía, teacher. City hall, city hall, city halls. Which other one to say? Church, park, police, city hall, police station. Yes, police, police station. station. So, Which so, other one? It's the zoo. So the so zoo. Yes, the zoo. Zoo. The hospital. Zoo. Hospital. Yes. Which other places do you remember? Gas station. Gas station, excellent. Gas station. Some other university. 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 Downtown. College. Downtown. Downtown is the center of the city. Downtown. Veterinary. Como el centro de la no. ciudad. Veterinary. Veterinary. Okay. Una veterinaria. Which other one? Donde vamos a comprar lo de la semana. What is the name of that place? Supermarket. 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 Okay. Supermarket. Okay. We had market and supermarket. Donde son más baratas las cosas. Ahora hay ninguno, teacher. Market. Uh, the market, right? In the market, probably. Probably in the market. ¿En qué lugar compra una semita? In which place do you go and buy a semita? Mieluda. 
Bakery. 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 Oh, yes, bakery. In a bakery. Thank you. Uh, bakery. In qué lugar va a comprar un book? Bookstore. In a bookstore. Library. Yeah. Library. 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 Mm. Ok, um, bookstore. Bookstore es la tienda de libros. In the library, creo que son los préstamos en la biblioteca. Usted va y los presta por un periodo de tiempo. That is the library. And where can I buy a dog? ¿Dónde puedo comprar un dog? I need a pet and I want a dog. Where can I buy it? Pet shop. Pet shop, yes, in the pet shop. Okay, I need some new shoes. Where can I buy some new shoes? Hello? Shoe store. Okay, shoe store, excellent. Okay, we're going to learn some other places tonight. If you don't have any question about the platform, platform exercises, let's go to tonight's class. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's start then. This is the topic for tonight. You can miss it. You can miss it. No te puedes perder. That is the name of the section number three. So welcome to the class number six. Let's start with this. This is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. By the end of this class, you will learn preposition of place in order to give directions. Okay, so we are going to study places, stores, and what we can get there. And also we are going to study preposition of place in order to give directions. So let's start, look at these places. Which places do you think they are? Restaurant and um, gas station. Um, gas okay. station. It's a restaurant and a gas station. Okay. What can you buy in a restaurant? What can you get there? Some food and drinks. Excellent. You can buy some food, drinks. Okay. Rest. A restaurant. Let's see. You can buy food. You can buy drinks, as you said. And you can buy dessert. Puede comprar postres ahí, dessert. And what about in a gas station? What can you get there? Gasoline. You can gasoline. buy gasoline. Oil. Oil. oil for your car. Yes. Yes. What more? What can you get there in the gasoline? In the gas station, sorry. What can you get in the gas station? You can buy drinks too there. And you can buy some snacks. Right? Snack. Some snacks, right? Like, uh, like what? Cookies, nachos, hot dogs, hamburgers. So let's go with the next. Oh, also you can buy fast food there. Fast food. Let's go with the next places. Which places do you think they are? Look at the Supermarket. Picture. Okay, the second one is the supermarket. Yeah, the supermarket in the first one. The first picture. Post office. A shoe store. A shoe store. Okay, let's see. A post office, you were right. Thank you so much, Leslie. It's a post office. Okay, what you can get there? What can you get there? Package. Some package? Yeah, some package. Which other things? Letter. Letter, letter. yes. Okay, you can send letter there. You can send package. And you can buy some stands. For your letters. What about the supermarket? 
What can you get in the supermarket? Groceries. Groceries. You can buy food. You can pay. and sugar. Vegetables and sugar. And fruit. Base, fruit. Vegetables and fruit, sugar too. You can pay bills there. Cereals. Okay. Cereals. Cereals. You can buy toys. Mike. Mike. Uh, bike. Oh, milk. Bike. Milk. 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 You can buy milk. Okay, you can buy a lot of things in a supermarket. Okay. And also Beans. you can buy some electronics like mixer, irons, uh, which other things? Blenders. Microwave. Yes. Microwave oven. A stove. So you can buy a lot of things in a supermarket now. Okay, now look at this place, a bank. What can you do there? What can you do in a bank? Get money. Okay, get some cash. Money. Let's learn something that you can do in a bank. So you can pay, open an account. Pay the bills. Pay, the bills. pay bills too. Open an account. Open a bank account, una cuenta, apply for a credit card, solicitar una tarjeta de crédito, apply for a credit card, make a withdrawal, hacer un retiro ¿verdad? de su cuenta, make a withdrawal. Also, you can receive remittances, cobrar las remesas, ¿verdad? from the United States or, or at another country. So, receive remittances. Also, you can pay the bills, as Leslie said, and also you can make a deposit. Puede depositar dinero. Cash a check. Puede cambiar un cheque, ¿verdad? Cash a check. Let's see. Deposit a check. Instead of cash it, you deposit the check into your bank account. Let's see, what about a drugstore? The next one is a drugstore. <clears throat> what can you do there in a drugstore? Medicine. Buy some Beer. medicine. Buy medicine. Buy medicine, yes. So look at this, buy muscle cream, buy medicine, buy vitamins. Yeah. What is the other one? Oh, buy balance for your cell phone. Comprar saldo para su teléfono. Which other things can you do in a drugstore? Pay bills too. You can pay his bill there. Buy cow syrup. Buy cosmetic. Okay, buy pills. Buy cosmetics too. Makeup, buy makeup there. And finally, we have these department store you can buy perfumes shoes buy jacket okay buy jacket buy clothes, buy clothes shoes jeans dress jeans. Address, <laughs> jeans you can buy makeup teacher T-shirts, you can buy electronics, buy shoes, as you said, buy cosmetics, and a lot of other things that you can find in a department store. Now let's go with this vocabulary. City places. City places. Take a look at this. The first one is the library. Then I have the church, hospital, park, bus station, museum, police station, firefighter station, cinema, city hall, gym, school, high school, university, 
or college mall and the airport. New vocabulary in these places. Hay alguno que no conozca. It is a word that you don't know the right translation into Spanish. Where is a church? Church en la iglesia. The church es la iglesia. Anyone? Let's see. Museum. What is a museum? Museo. 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 Okay. Wait. What is the high school? Escuela. Escuela. Como instituto, mm. ya que son grados mm. mayores. Uh -huh. Okay, high school is el bachillerato. Bachillerato. School uh, from first grade to ninth grade. In high school, for 10th grade to 12th grade. And let's see, university or college. Uh, what is the mall? What is the meaning of mall in Spanish? Centro comercial. Centro comercial, excellent. No problem with this? No. No, okay. I don't know what is the meaning of city hall. City Hall es el ayuntamiento o alcaldía. Alcaldía. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I need a volunteer. Who wants to practice the reading the vocabulary in the blue chart? Who wants to help me? Thank you so much, Julio Cesar. And then we're going to listen to Jose Alberto and then Carmen. Julio, can you please start? Okay. Library, church, hospital, park, bus station, bus station, museum, police station, fire finger station. Thank you so much. A very good pronunciation. Museum and firefighter station. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, Jose Alberto, can you help me, please? Um, um. Repeat. Uh, can repeat you please? Me. Can you please read the vocabulary Stop. and the blue chart? Library, sure. Blue. Okay. Uh, library, sure. Hospital, park, bus station, museum, police station, firefighter station. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Um, yeah, Thank you for your help. Uh, let's see, Carmen, can you help me with the orange chart, please? Cinema, city hall, gym, school, high school, university, college, mall, airport. Excellent, thank you. Very good pronunciation. Thank you so much. Uh, Hugo, can you help me with the orange chart, please? Okay. Cinema, uh, city hall. Gyms, school, uh, high school, universe, college, mall, airport. Okay, airport is the last one. Airport, airport the rest, airport. Perfect. Airport. perfect. Thank you so much, excellent. So can, can we add some other places here? Podemos agregar algunos otros lugares? Can you tell me if there are some places that are missing in this list? Which can we add? Which one can we add? A park. Okay, a bank. Which other one? Well, sir. Thank you so much. Drugstore. Drugstore. Coffee shop. Restaurant. Restaurant. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Oh, sorry. Shop. Coffee shop. Baking. Gas station. Gas station. And also bakery. Bookstore. 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 Which other one? 
department store. Oh, thank you so much. Department store. Department store. We have bank, drugstore. Hotel. The park. Park. The park. Hotel. Think all oh, hotel. Thank you. Hotel. Beautiful mm. salon. Okay, beauty. Beauty salon. Okay. Oh, beauty. Beauty salon. Anyone? Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. Thank you. Okay, any other? A barber coming. Okay, a barber shop. And the last one, parking lot. Parking lot. Lo que siempre andamos buscando cuando vamos a la ciudad, ¿verdad? Un parqueo, parking lot. Okay, any, any other place? Thank you. So take a look. There are a lot of city places, right? We have library, church, hospital, park, bus station, museum, police station, firefighter station, cinema, city hall, gym, school, high school, university, college, mall, airport. And then we have bank, drugstore, restaurant, coffee shop, gas station, bakery, bookstore, department store, park, hotel, beauty, salon, bus station, barbershop, and parking lot. So what is your favorite place in the city? ¿Cuál es su lugar favorito en la ciudad? What is your favorite place? The hospital teacher is my favorite. Me dan incapacidad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. A nadie le gusta ir a ayudar. <laughs> Well, what about the library? Let's go sit in the biblioteca. Well, what about a coffee shop? Let's go sit at the market. Sure. Coffee. Yes, the coffee shop or a restaurant, right? A restaurant. Also the department store. The department store. Y a, a veces uno entra, ¿verdad? No lleva nada en mente, ¿verdad? Que va a comprar y entra por dar bien. Is is a gasta bastante dinero in, in the department store. Okay, mm, let's go to the next thing. Let me erase this part and let's continue. Teacher, what is a... yes? What is The department store. The department store is, let's see, the department store, the right translation of the department store is como. Eh, like a simán. Well, oh yeah, it, it, you can find different things there, right? So that is a department store. In Spanish, I have forget the word in Spanish. Can you believe me? Tienda por departamentos. Ok, más o menos así, ¿verdad? Donde está dividida la ropa, los electrónicos, pero es la misma tienda. That is a department store. Como un almacén, dice que. Ok, más o menos así. ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you for your question. Now, let's see. You can buy some aspirin at the... Vamos a ver quién responde primero. You can buy some aspirin at the drugstore. Drugstore. Thank you. You can buy some bread at the bakery. 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 You can buy listening to a conversation. You can buy a dictionary. You can buy a library. You can buy a dictionary at the Bookstore. 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 You can buy gasoline at 
gas station. Gas station. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. restaurant. You can buy stamps at the post office. Post office. Post office. You can buy a switch here at The mall. The Parman store. The, the Parman store. store. Or, uh, okay, yes. You can buy traveler checks at a bank. A, a bank. bank. Okay, you can buy traveler checks at a bank. One. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Okay. So you were right. Todas sus respuestas estuvieron correctas. That's great. Thank you so much. And let's listen to the pronunciation of these compound nouns. So take a look of this. Let's see. Take a look of this here. Donde está el punto es donde la palabra lleva la mayor fuerza de voz. Porque la que siempre un poquito más fuerte. So we have post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. So let's listen, pay attention, and then we're going to practice the pronunciation of these compound nouns. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. Okay, do you want to listen again? But you are ready to practice. Are you ready to practice or do you want to listen again? I can, please. Listen again, okay. Here we go. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, now a volunteer. Thank you, Luis. Let's try, Luis. Okay. Post office, gas station, restaurant. Restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Thank you so much. Very good. Department store. Thank you. Then I have Jose Alberto. Let's try. Post office, gas station, restaurant, coffee shop, drugstore. Supermarket, box store, department store. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Thank you for your help. Then I have Maria Dolores. Okay. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drug store, supermarket, box store, department store. Thank you. Thank you so much. A very good job. So don't forget to, let's see, stress. Stress significa como eh, acento, ¿verdad? Lo que hacemos en español, por ejemplo, la palabra corazón. 
donde lleva la mayor fuerza de voz. Corazón, canción. Al final, al final, ¿verdad? Al final de la palabra. En este caso, en inglés, generalmente va al principio. Eso dice post office, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, don't forget about this. Do you have any question in this part? No question. Okay, very good. Okay, you know, let's... teacher, help me please. Uh, okay, what's your question? Tell me. Uh, what is your question? What is your pregunta? Uh, Drug. Drugstore uh, in, in Spanish. Oh, drugstore is farmacia. Farmacia. That is the meaning of drugstore. Farmacia. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for your question. Okay, now let's listen to this conversation. It's across from the park. Now we are going to start learning about the preposition of place. Do you remember some preposition of place? Let's see, for example, a la par de. How do you say that in English? A la par de. Between. Okay, no. good try. Near. That could be. What is the right preposition? Okay, don't worry. We are, we are going to learn those prepositions. Next to. Okay, ne next to is the word. That's the meaning a la par de. Near es cerca. También dijeron between. Eso es en medio de. Across from. Yes. Across from is another one. Across from significa, por ejemplo, restaurante está cruzando la calle del banco. That is across from, que está al otro lado de la calle. Then we have on. También dijeron on, ¿verdad? On significa que ese lugar está justo después de la acera. Está la calle, la acera y está ese lugar. Y decimos on. We are going to... We are on going the corner to have, of? Oh, on the corner of. It means en la esquina de. En la esquina de. On the corner of. So let's start with this conversation. It's across from the park. So let's listen, please. Practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, what is this people looking for? A restroom. Or what is the man looking for? A restaurant, right? And what is a restroom? The park. What is that? Restaurant? The store. Okay, there is a restaurant in the department and store, but what is the meaning of restaurant in Spanish? Any idea? No. no. Okay, un baño. Es lo mismo que bathroom. Restaurant or bathroom? Yes, un sanitario. Un sanitario. Sí, Así es. Porque bathroom es un baño, la ducha. Ajá. Entiendo. Pero generalmente se entiende, ¿verdad? Bathroom o restaurant. Sí. Es el sanitario. Yes? Un you can use both words, I guess. So, let's see. Excuse me. Disculpe. Can you help me? Can you help me? So you are going to use this expression a lot of in English. Excuse me, and also, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? 
¿hay algún baño público o un servicio sanitario público cerca de aquí? A public restaurant. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Esta es otra expresión que es muy útil. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Lo siento, creo que no. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where is the restroom? On Main Street. Okay, on Main Street in the department store. Where on Main Street? Donde en la calle principal o en esa calle que se llama Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. En la esquina de la calle principal y la primera avenida. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Sí, está cruzando el parque. No te puedes perder. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Gracias. Ok. Questions. New vocabulary in this small conversation. Is it a new word in this conversation? No new words? Pronunciation and avenue. Um, avenue. First avenue. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's listen again. And then I need to learn to, to practice. Escuchemos. Pay attention to the pronunciation, please. And then we are going to practice in this conversation. Let's start. Let's practice. listen. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try? Two brave people. Thank you, Julio Cesar. I have Julio and any other brave person who wants to try in this conversation. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you so much. So can you please start, Julio? Okay. Excuse me. Can you hear me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my son needed a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on the Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of the Main and um, First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thank you, Arlo. Okay, excellent job, thank you. Wow, very good pronunciation, thank you so much. Just in this word, how do you pronounce this word? Can you help me? First, first. It's first, first. first. On the corner of May first. and first. Thank you, thank you so much. Very good, any two volunteers? Samuel, do you want to try? Yes. Okay, Samuel, and I need another volunteer. If no volunteer, I'm going to choose someone. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Uh, Samuel, can you please start? And then Jose, please. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Um, is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom.
Oh no, my well, son needs a there restroom. There is a restroom is in the in the restroom. Continue. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main in and First Avenue. Oh. On the corner of Main or First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Jose, Roberto, and Samuel. Jose Alberto, sorry. Jose Alberto, thank you so much, and Samuel. Excellent Good job, man. thank you. So which preposition of place can you identify in this small conversation? Which one? ¿Cuáles preposiciones del lugar identifican en esta conversación? Around. Around, yes. Corner. On the corner of, on the corner on. of, on. Across from the park. Across from, yes, across from. Any other? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Any other idea? Tell me. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me, what is your question? Este, por ejemplo, al final, and thank you a lot. Que no solo. Sí, este, que thanks a la hora de hacer. Thanks, thanks a lot. Eh, a lot significa... Mi pregunta es... Ah, uh -huh. Sí, sí, este, a lot. A lot, a lot. Que, si va Eso acompañado de take. Mucho. Muchas gracias. Y solo dice, thank you, sería gracias. Si you say thanks a lot, muchas gracias. Thanks a thank lot. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. Excellent. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Tell me, tell me, what is your question? Casi, casi es lo mismo que thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias. Thanks a lot. Muchas gracias. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you for your question. Now let's go with this. Preposition of place. Aquí están las preposiciones del lugar. Look at the, look at this. On. Es, el edificio está justo, ¿verdad? Después de la acera. La calle, la acera y el edificio. Then you say, supongamos que este es el banco. Then you say, the bank is on Main Street. El banco está sobre la calle que se llama Main Street. The next one is on the corner of. En la esquina de. En este caso, on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Se mencionan las dos calles que forman la esquina. Si este fuera el banco, diríamos the bank is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. En la esquina de. Then we have a cross from. The bank is across from the park. El banco está cruzando la calle. ¿verdad? Acá. Across from. That is the meaning of the cross from. Then we have next to. The bank is next to the supermarket, we can say. A la par de. Then we have between. Between. Then the supermarket is between the bank and the, you can say, the grocery store. So between, en medio de. On, on the corner of, across from next to between. Look at the example. Let's listen to the example. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn 
prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation. Okay. Needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main. The bank is between the department store. What is it's it? across from the park. Across from. Next to. Between. Thanks a lot. Now. Okay, now we're going to listen the preposition of place. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Okay. Let's take a Anyone look at our map to now. Anyone read let the me... examples? Who wants to try reading the examples? Anyone on here? Yeah, teacher. No, I think it's a much. Department store in the main street. It's on the corner of main in the fields. It's across from the park. Okay, thank you so much. Any other volunteer to read the next three examples? Next to between. Thank you, Maria Dolores. Okay, did they release your relative? Yes, please. The department store is on Main Street. It is on the corner in Main and First. It is across from the park. It is next to the bank. The bank is between the depart department, the department store and the restaurant. Excellent. Thank you so much. Carmen Mejibar, can you try, please? The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department a store and the restaurant. Excellent, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help in this part. Now let's go with the next. Here we are going to practice. Which places can you identify in this map? Can you tell me the places that you can see in this map? Hospital. Hospital. Theater, post office, Band. department store, movie theater, supermarket, grocery store, post office, lot. hospital, gas station, drugstore. Okay, excellent. Store. Thank you. Is it a restaurant there? Is it a restaurant? Yes. Yes. What is the name of the restaurant? Davis Burger. Next to the bank. Maria's mm. Restaurant. Maria's Restaurant. Thank you. Is it a library? Is it a library? A bookstore. Oh, just a bookstore. What about a gas station? Is there a gas station in the city? Yes. Yes. Is there a parking lot? Yes. 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 There is there. Uh, is there a coffee shop? Yes. Yes, there is. Yes, there is one. Uh, what about a supermarket? Is there a supermarket? Yes. 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 What about a park? Is there a park? Yes. Is there? Yes. Is there? Yes. Okay. Now the question is, where is the city bank? 
Can you tell me, please? You seen preposition of place. What is the city bank? Is between the restaurant and loan department store. Excellent, thank you. So the sentence is the city bank is It is next to the department store. Okay, you can say it's next to the department store. Or from from in front of the theater. Okay, in this case we say across from. It's across, across from, from the, the theater. Tell me, um, across from a park. We can say near, in este caso, near the park. No está exactamente al otro lado. Entonces, no podemos utilizar across from. Yes? Across from is en frente de. Oh, sí, en frente de, pero ah. dividido, dividido okay. por una calle. Entonces, okay. aquí sí, the, the city bank the is across of? from the movie theater. On the corner of is in la esquina de. En la esquina de. That is on the corner Thank of. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you for your question. Now, if I ask you, where is Al's coffee shop? Where is Al's coffee shop? Al's coffee shop. On Second Avenue. Okay, excellent. Al's coffee shop is on Second Avenue. Also, we can use next to. Okay. Say, to the shop. Shop. Across, across from the supermarket. Across from the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Hay otra tienda ahí, ¿verdad? Favorite shoes. Está esa tienda ahí, favorite shoes. Then you can say, ah, the coffee shop is next, next to, to the, the favorite, to the favorite shoes. shoes. Okay, what is the gas station? What is the gas station? The corner of the hospital. Okay, it's on the corner it is, of. Uh, across from the hospital. Across from the hospital, yes. And also you can say, it's on the corner of Center Street. And also first okay. avenue. Let's see what is the post office. Where is the post office? On centers. In the center first. Thank you so much. The post office is on the center street. Thank you. Where is loop department store? Where is Loop department store? On the corner of Main and uh, First Avenue. Thank you so much. Yes. It's, it's on the corner of Main yes. Street and First Avenue. So. Yes. Yes. Where is the movie theater? Where is the movie theater? It is next in, across from the bank. Across from the bank. It is on Main Street. It is on Main Street. It is on Main Street, yes. Where is Davis Drugstore? It is on next to Supi. the corner of Second Avenue. And Center Street. Thank you. It's it's next to next it's to PG Supermarket. Okay, thank you. The first one was it is on the corner of Center Street and the second Hola, avenue. Chicos, ¿cómo están? Buenas noches. Recordarles que los que todavía no han pasado a la exposición. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Son comerciales. Thank you. Let's go with this. And David Drugstore is next to P and J supermarket. Uh, do you have any question about preposition of place? No question. No question. 
What is the post office? What is the post office? On the center uh, street. Okay, and also we can say that it is next to the corner, next the, to hospital. Doctor hospital. Okay, and where is the bookstore? The bookstore the, the is on the corner across from. Uh, Okay, we can say on the corner of, on the corner of Century Strip and Second Avenue. Thank you. Or across from the post office. The post office. O sea, que para decir que está en la esquina, que sería um, cross from, no, sería on the corner of, y menciono las dos calles, ¿verdad? Center Strip y um, Second Avenue. Así es, se mencionan las dos calles que forman la esquina, ¿verdad? On the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Okay, take a look at this map. Take a look at this map for a second. Where are the places? Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Jaime, what is your question? La manera exacta de pronunciar es primero la esquina y luego las dos calles. O Así. primero las dos calles y luego la esquina. No, decimos, por ejemplo, the bookstore. The bookstore is on the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Primero decimos la preposición, ¿verdad? que es on the corner of, y después mencionar la calle y luego la avenida. Ok, thank you. Any other question in this part? No more question? Okay, let's go with the next. Where is the U.S. Post Office? ¿Se acuerdan? Where is the U.S. Post Office? The corner of uh, Second Avenue. It is, it is next to the hospital. Okay, let's see, you are right. It's on the corner of the Second Avenue and Center Street, and also it's next to the doctor hospital. Let's see the next question. Where is the department store? In front of the gas station. In front of the gas station. Let's see if you are right. The department store. No, it is not in front of the gas station. Here is the department store and here is the gas station. It's on the, Main Street. Okay, it's on Main Street. Yes. Let's see the next one. Where is the gas station? Where is the gas station? The gas station. It is across from the parking lot. Okay, parking let's see. Lot. Yes, you're right. The gas station is across from the parking lot. Thank you. Where is the restaurant? The restaurant, it is uh, next to the city bank. Yes, you're right. Thank you. So the restaurant is next to the city bank. Perfect. Let's see. Where is the shoe store? Where is the shoe store? Do you remember what is the shoe store? Next to supermarket. Next to the supermarket. Let's see if you're right. The shoe store is across from the supermarket. <laughs> it's across from, it's next to Al's coffee shop. Very good try. What is the drugstore? Don't you remember what is the drugstore? It is, it is next to the... I just know. <laughs> ah, okay. Vamos a ver. It's next to P&J Supermarket. It is next to the supermarket. Very good. The last one. Where is the city bank?
between um, and the the department store and across from to my restaurant. Okay, excellent. Across from what? To the cinema. Okay, you're right. It's between the department store and Maria's restaurant, and also it's a theater. The movie yeah. theater, movie theater or cinema. Thank you. Buena memoria fotográfica. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you have any question about how to use preposition of time? Sorry, preposition of place. No questions. No question. No question. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you for your attention, for your participation during this class. I have some information for you. Y como ustedes saben, el día jueves que celebramos. Independence Day. Independence Day. Okay. Yes, you're right. We are going to celebrate the Independence Day, right? That is September 15th. Entonces, ese día no vamos a tener la clase pero la vamos a recuperar el día viernes. O sea que este viernes sí vamos a tener clase, ¿de acuerdo? Siempre a las 8, sí. ¿verdad? De 8 a 9. No tenemos clase el jueves, pero la recuperamos el día viernes debido a las festividades, ¿verdad? Del día de la independencia. Eh, please, don't forget about the platform exercises. It's important that you complete the section number three. Es importante ¿verdad? que comience a trabajar en la sección 3. If you have a question, if you have a problem, you can write on the WhatsApp group. Si tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda, al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? We can help you there. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Mañana vamos a hablar acerca de giving direction. Giving direction in English. Les voy a compartir un videito ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp para que lo puedan ver, ¿verdad? Antes de la clase, si es posible. ¿De acuerdo? Bye, bye. See you. Bye, bye. bye. See you, Nick. See you tomorrow. Good bye, evening. bye. Good evening. Good night. 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 Good night.